Amit Prabhari, founder and managing director of CR Forex. Lot of exporters and importers have asked me one single question that despite inflows coming in, if you see the table in the month of November and December combined, there has been an inflow close to $12 billion. But rupee has not appreciated below 83 levels. What are the reasons for the same? Let us understand that in today's presentation. Let me show you an data point. If you see the reserve ka data, forex reserves ka data, it was at $565 billion in the month of January 2022. From there, if you see the chart, it has been constantly rising and currently it is at $615 billion. It clearly answers that RBI have been buying dollars at whenever the inflows is coming. Now let us understand why RBI is buying dollars until what point of time RBI is going to buy dollars. There can be multiple reasons why RBI have, has been buying dollars. One reason can be liquidity deficit was there in the system. Liquidity deficit means jitna paisa market mein chahiye, usse market mein kam hai. Abhi liquidity deficit kitna tha? Liquidity deficit in the month of November was 1.5 lakh crore. And till today, the liquidity deficit is close to 2.27 lakh crore. So whenever there is a liquidity deficit, RBI will do two things. Ek, wo dollar buy karega, or dusra, VRR karega. Let me explain that to you in next slide. Let me explain you the first one, how liquidity deficit will reduce if RBI buy dollars. For an example, you are an exporter and you give dollars to the bank. The bank in return will give you rupee, which you are going to spend. Similarly, whenever there is an inflow in the market, RBI will observe that inflow from the bank and they are going to give rupee to the bank. RBI will give rupee to the bank. Is se liquidity deficit jo hai system mein kam ho jayega. Second step jo hota hai, the way they can reduce the liquidity deficit in the system is that RBI will tell the bank that you can borrow money from us at a lesser rate than the repo rate which is called VRR. In uh, last Friday RBI have did an auction for that. We are expecting that because of that liquidity deficit can come down. So conclusion kya hai? Conclusion hai till that time liquidity deficit is a negative territory. RBI can go on and buy dollars whenever there is an inflow. We are expecting that in coming 15 days to 45 days liquidity deficit which has been there in the system will reduce and RBI might reduce their buying drastically which is a positive impact for rupee. As we are entering in 2024 let us understand what are the major things for 2024. Whatever data we have gathered so far it is very clear that 2024 will be an interesting and a volatile year for the markets. Now let us understand why. First, there are elections, major elections in US, UK and India. Second, all central banks will be competing who is going to reduce the interest rate at the first. The country which is reducing the interest rate at the fastest pace, their currency is going to get weaker and we are expecting US to do that. Third, geopolitical tension can have an impact on crude oil prices which can have impact on equity market and emerging market currencies. So the important thing in the volatile market is that what kind of hedging strategy you are having and we take an oath that in 2024 we are going to continuously give you right kind of hedging strategy so stay tuned to our channel. 2024 major theme can be bullish for gold we are expecting gold to move towards 2300 dollar and 2600 dollar per ounce second theme can be bullish for bonds as we are expecting interest rate to go down inverse relationship hoga bond price of a bond is going to move higher third bearish for dollar index we are expecting dollar index to move below 100 kind of a level and it should ideally move towards 98 and a half kind of level in 2024. Bullish for rupee, we are expecting 
it is seen a half to act as a very very strong resistance for the pair and eventually the pair is going to move towards 82 and 81 80 kind of levels for the coming week we expect the pair to trade in a range between 82 85 on the lower side and 80 25 on the higher side any level above 80 10 to 15 level should be used by exporter to increase their hedge ratio aggressively and importers should go slow in hedging their imports ideally near 80c they should buy 5 to 10 days import uh, with this i will end my today's presentation jai hind namaskar fir milenge next week thank you